I guess you can say I'm a bit on a roll, but I did a couple of videos earlier about things to think about before becoming an influencer. And I'm gonna make this a part three because I got so many more thoughts on this. So I am an influencer talent manager, uh, a former talent agent. And, um, and now I'm kind of just sharing that knowledge on this here app. And now I'm also sharing it on YouTube as well. So go check me out there. But one of the things that I think people do not think about before becoming an influencer is that you can be an influencer and not make money. Like, that is okay. <laughs> like, seriously. Like, if you truly want to be an influencer and it's not something that brands are going to, like, you know, want to give you brand deals for or whatever, like, it's okay because at the end of the day, if you have true influence, you have true influence. Like you don't need a brand deal to be an influencer, right? I think some people also forget that you can just post content, share your ideas and just put it out there and you don't even have to be coined an influencer. You don't have to influence anybody. You could just create content, put it out there. I know Gary V talks a lot about that. He's like, just create content, just put it out there. You have expertise, you know something, your perspective is special. And I love that he says that because it's so true. Just create content, just put it out there. Don't aim to be an influencer. You don't have to monetize everything. I know our culture, our culture have us thinking that we got to monetize everything, but you don't have to. You can literally just put it out there. I think that's the reason why I just keep creating content. Like, I don't think my, my stuff is getting out anywhere. And I kind of don't care because at the end of the day, I'm. it feels good to me to create it. It feels good to me to put the knowledge out there. It just feels good to, like, just create. And I think at the end of the day, like, the influencer industry, the influencer career can be a path for you, but you have to give up something. You know, when you say yes to something, you're saying no to something else. When you say no to something, you're saying yes to something else. And so I think a lot of people just forget that. They just see like, oh my God, this person became famous through YouTube or through TikTok and they making so much money. I want to do that too. It's not even about that. You got to really think about like why you're doing what you're doing. And I just wanted to say that part, right? which is basically you can just create content without the aim of becoming a content creator and becoming an influencer having this career. Like you can just create content and that and still be normal and that be okay. And that could be your aim and, and that's okay. That's a good aim and no one's gonna judge you. Like let's get back to like just creating content because we like it. The last thing I'm gonna say is influencers start to decline when they stop enjoying their content. I've seen it too many times.